today we're fishing on the Oswego River in the city of Oswego. Um, we're about three quarters of a mile from Lake Ontario. We have a short stretch of water here that stop at the Varick Dam so the fish can come up, hit the dam, and that's it. <clears throat> they get in front of our powerhouse up here that we just fishing in front today. They usually fight the current thinking they're going up river, but with the low water, they're kind of milling around, finding the little shoots of water that are coming in from the dam. And that's where they're setting up. So we have a couple spots we're fishing. Um, they're not sprout everywhere, so but they've set up really nice in the current seams that we have. So that's where we were today. We had one nice current seam and we just floated our baits through there all day and we picked away at them. The salmon will show up here anywhere from the last week of August till about the middle of September, the early stages of them showing up. Um, the best numbers start showing about the middle of September right through late October. I start my salmon trips around the 20th of September. That first week is uh, up and down, which can be warm. Fish might not come in yet, so it gives me options where I can go out to the harbor and catch them or up here in the river. The kings will stay around until about the first week of November. Usually you'll start seeing some trout show up early to mid-October. Brown trout, rainbow trout, skillet. We have a great winter fisher here. You guys have seen that before in our other videos. Um, the browns come up early. You'll see some big male browns getting caught this time of year. They, uh, they like to push their way up towards the dam. You see the guys up there bringing home some really trophy trout. And you'll see steelhead and rainbows all mixed through. The rod I like to use when I'm fishing these kings with skein under float is a nine foot medium light action rod. This particular rod is made by Shimano Calaris. Gets the job done, been using them for eh, about eight, nine years. I pair that with a size 4000 Stratic reel. I've tried a lot of different reels over the years and they, they last me maybe a season if I'm lucky to get that. I switched to Stratics a couple years ago and I've got <clears throat> multiple seasons at them which I'm real happy with. Drags are smooth, everything's great. I run a 30 pound braided line. Really helps with line twist. Um, these big fish, when they're close to the boat, you're lifting, reeling down, lifting, reeling down. You're gonna slip the drag. It just happens over the course of a long fight. At the end of the fight, the line's really twisted. That braid, you don't have that issue anymore. So I go to 30 pound braid. I run a cool water slip float. I love their slip floats because they have little metal grommets in either end. So the braid doesn't cut through, mono doesn't cut through. So really love the cool waters. From there, we go to some weights, depending on the flow, different weight pattern, swivel. And I'm running a 12 pound liter, 12 pound fluorocarbon. I run Suffolk's fluorocarbon. That's my favorite fluorocarbon out there. And then I pair that with a number two um, egg hook or live bait hook, I guess you'd call it. Um, this particular model, it's just an upturn eye. I put an egg loop on there. That's how I hold on my bait. And uh, that's pretty simple. It's a different fishery than most of the fisheries along Lake Ontario. There's a couple of places like this where it's deeper water. Um, the fish aren't running for their lives. They're kind of milling around or set up in deep water where they feel comfortable. They're not scared. Being comfortable, not um, stressed out, they're biters. They eat skein, they bite plugs, they'll even hit spinners at times. Um, you know, they're not in shallow water, that's the key. We have deep water anywhere from say seven to 12 feet of water is where we're fishing these kings. So they feel relaxed and when they get active, they bite. So the two baits we used today were uh, fire cured salmon skeins, had a fish I harvested over the last few weeks. Um, straight pink, a lot of pink, or you know, Mostly pink with a touch of red, give it a little more flair, a little dark color, and then a straight red. Today it was mostly pink and a touch of red pink. Then the second bait we took advantage of today, Putsky's Trout Eggs, Balls of Fire Trout Eggs. Got me confused now, I see you guys calling them this So it's Putsky's Trout Eggs, natural, original naturals that I added red borax of fire to. This is cured last night. I put the red borax in there, I filled up, took a brand new jar, filled it just to the brim with red borax with fire and I tumbled them and tumbled them and tumbled them for about five minutes, tried to mix it up, let them set all night. And then I tied them on the boat in spawn sacks with Atlas Mike's mesh and that's how we fished them. I left a little bit of the tail on some, I cut some down, um, you know, kept the scent. Once they were washed out and the scent kind of was out of the tail, I would trim them up. But we caught fish on them both ways. I mean, we're right in the middle of the city, you know, I mean, not a large city, about 18 to 20,000 people live in Oswego, but we're right in the middle of downtown. We're fishing right in the tail race. In fact, this <clears throat> power plant we're fishing in front of is the only plant owned by 
Brookfield that we are allowed to fish this close in the tail race. Most places there's a buffer. Um, due to the popularity of the salmon fishing here in upstate New York, they've actually made a special exception to let us fish as close as we do because it's such a great fishery. So we'll see fish anywhere from four pounds up to 30 pounds. Um, you know, salmon mature mostly at two to three years in the lake. So they're two and a half, three and a half year old fish. Um, but you will see a jack salmon, which is four to seven pounds. The more jack sea is usually a good time for the future. I mean, those are a good class of fish. This year we've seen quite a few uh, jacks, so it's looking good for our future. But average fish weighs anywhere from 12 to about 20 pounds. You know, they're not quite as heavy weight wise. They're still long, they're still wide, but they're losing some of their body mass because they're fighting the current. They haven't eaten <clears throat> a good meal. They stop eating as they start their uh, spawning migrations. Today's episode of Pots Outdoors comes to you from a very familiar place. We're out here today with Captain Andy Bliss at Chase and Tail Adventures. You know, we've been fishing with Andy for almost 10 years, and some of our greatest days on the water have come here in Oswego, New York with Andy Bliss. Reason being, it's a phenomenal fishery. Now, a lot of people go, I've heard of Oswego, but I don't even know where it is. You know, it's, it's in central New York. It's about, uh, you know, 40 minutes north of Syracuse. You know, a lot of people have heard of Oswego State and their famous, you know, hockey program. But not a lot of people know that there's only about a mile stretch of water where all these salmon and steelhead can be found. Now, this is fall, and Andy talked to you all about when the fish come in, when they leave. Just know that the Oswego River was formed by the joining of the Oneida and Seneca River. The river is only 23 miles long, but it's only the last mile that you care about, which is right in the heart of downtown Oswego. Now, the river is stocked annually with 140,000 Chinook salmon. You know, most of those fish end up in this small area you see right here. Now, we flew the drone, and you can see the number of people that actually fish here, okay? It is wall-to-wall -wall people. Uh, along the wall, the famous Oswego Wall, where you see anglers throwing right across into the river. You know, there must be 20 feet up, and it's just shoulder to shoulder like it would be on the salmon river and then you have the main body of the river which you know during winter steelhead season tends to be loaded with water right now it's not and you can see fish everywhere you can also see people everywhere there will be anglers waiting in the middle of the river you know for a good quarter mile stretch and they're shoulder to shoulder you'll actually see salmon trying to jump up in the white water to get over the dam they're not successful doing so there's also a little side uh, shoots of water coming off or they'll try to go up those as well now what was interesting to us is to the naked eye you can't see how many fish are real here but when you look from above and turn down you can actually see some of these pools are holding 500 salmon at a time it's an incredible experience to be here now we we're fortunate to be able to jump on Andy's drift boat which of which gives you the opportunity to actually catch fish in the mouth with bobber and eggs and we did that and caught fish after fish after fish. It's a phenomenal opportunity because there's not many places you can do this uh, in New York where you can anchor up and go. Um, now the good news is all of our fish came on some of our favorite Potsky products. You know, we did use the skein that Andy talked about. You know, Andy uses Fire Cure. He uses Baraxa Fire. He even uses Fire Brine. His favorite colors are red and pink. And we caught a ton of fish on those eggs. You can see them here. But what was new today is I said to Andy, listen, after we catch a couple fish, can I please try to catch fish on trout eggs tied in netting? And Andy goes, listen, I know it's gonna work, but let's get some fish on the boat first. So that's what we did. And the last couple of fish we caught all came on those premium and natural trout eggs. I think Andy used almost all just natural today. He cured them and he tied them in Atlas Pike's netting. And sure enough, they worked just like we thought they would. So it shows you, if you don't have your own bait, you can come out here and buy these eggs, tie them in netting yourself, and have a great opportunity to catch salmon, just like we did. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.